फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट दो दिस इज द फर्स्ट ओकेजन ओन विच आई हैव इन पर्सन अटेंडेड अ सेशन ऑफ यूनेस्को आई मे क्लेम दैट इन स्पिरिट I have always been with you and followed your deliberations and activities with the keenest interest and sympathy this i have done as i feel that in view of the disaster which threatens the future of mankind unesco alone offers a faint ray of hope mankind has in the course of the last century made phenomenal advances in knowledge and material prosperity but this progress has not been reflected in man's moral and political achievement increased knowledge has therefore led not only to a greater provision for comforts and victory over want and disease but also allows to an increase in man's power for destruction and death this power is so great today that unless all men have a sense of community it may well lead to common ruin for all it is only through a reeducation of man that we can create that sense of psychological unity and common citizenship which the technological unity achieved by the advance of modern science requires of man this is the reason why in 1949 when the indian national commission for cooperation with unesco was founded i placed such great emphasis on the importance of unesco's work i pointed out with regret that while the united nations were founded for the achievement of peace and unity the result had in fact been the division of the world into two warring camps it is true that some progress has been achieved here in place of a multitude of nations each struggling on its own the united nations present a picture of two solid blocks array one against the other nevertheless to any man who looks forward to cooperation and friendship among nations this picture can bring no message of hope it seems that the only hope lies in unesco which asks to achieve unity in the field of education science and culture even among those who are politically divided i feel that if unesco could achieve its objectives and create understanding between different nations on the cultural plane there is hope that with the time the cultural understanding would make itself felt in the economic and political fields also in the course of the last 2 years my hope in unesco and my apprehensions about the united nations have both increased it is true that unesco is barely half a dozen years old but these few years have been of immense significance for the future of man this period has revealed fissures in our political 
एंड इंटेलेक्चुअल एटीट्यूड्स विच अनलेस दे आर चेकड ऑन टाइम मे वेल इन्वॉल्व द होल ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी इन वन कॉमन रन इट इज देयर फॉर नेसेसरी दैट वी शुड अटैम्प्ट टू इवेलुएट वट यूनेस्को हैज डन ड्यूरिंग दीज turbulent years and survey its past achievement so that we can map out with greater confidence the course of its future action the aim of unesco is to bring nations together through education science and culture ever since its foundation UNESCO has yearly passed resolutions and adopted programs to achieve that end one of the greatest achievement of UNESCO has been to help frame a new and universal declaration of human rights which has since been adopted by the united nations similarly in the field of technical assistance to underdeveloped countries and the restoration of educational and cultural facilities in the war devastated countries and in the exchange of persons and ideas between different nations considerable progress has been achieved even more important is the project which unesco seeks to adopt for the provision of fundamental education to immense areas of the world as yet without adequate facilities it is a sad reflection on our civilization that almost 3/4 of the adult population of the world are still unlettered literacy and ignorance directly contradict all our professions for the rights of men and constitute a threat to universal democracy peace and progress i should like to congratulate unesco upon its realization that it is only by improving the human material through education in the less fortunate areas of the world that prospects of world peace can be secured while no one can for a moment question the program of unesco in these fields i feel sure that you mr president and you mr director general will agree with me that unesco cannot succeed in its objectives so long as the fear of war and destruction cripple the creative energies of men unless this threat can be averted all our efforts to advance education science and culture seem a mockery if the world is to be saved from disaster we must as intelligent men and women decide what steps unesco can take to avoid the threat of war it will not do to say that the questions of war and peace are primarily political and do not concern unesco which is a body devoted to the advancement of education science and culture that cannot be so always as such stop